Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Freddy Espinoza with Freestyle Living Photography and Video, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about why I switched from the Canon M50 to the Sony a7C. All right, so the first thing on my list is video settings. I felt like the a7C was really aimed towards videographers, and the reason why is because it shoots in 4K without the crop. The M50, as you can remember when you would throw it into 4K, it was always on a crop and the autofocus never worked. And the other great thing is the 1080p slow motion. I remember using the M50 on that 720p and honestly, it was great for what it was, but the quality would drop really bad when I needed it. And honestly, the 1080p slow motion out of the A7C is perfect and I really love it for my wedding videos and my quinceanera intros. And one of my most favorite things about this camera is the no limit recording. Now that was a game changer for Sony. And honestly, I was grateful for it because I do a lot of um, documentary films or I'll do um, long recording sessions. And having to look at that 30 minute recording time limit that the M50 had was really hard on me because sometimes I couldn't get close to my camera enough to hit record while I had it on the podium recording the guest speaker. And another great thing is to see the audio meter recording in the M50, you just couldn't see that on the display screen. And that really let me down because sometimes I would go back home, take a look at my footage and see that it was distorted. And all I really needed was just to have that volume check. And now with the A7C, I'm able to do that. And number two is the compact size. I really love how tiny the A7C is. Also how it has the full frame sensor in such a small camera. That was like a game changer for me because I really wanted the high quality images and also just all the benefits from a full frame camera. And I felt like the A7C did that with the small size. And to tell you the truth, the high quality images are perfect. You're able to crop in if you need to and they're still buttery smooth. There's no changes and no bad images. And number three is the picture quality. I kind of already hit on that, but I'm going to tell you the truth. The ISO on this thing can bump up way higher than the M50. The M50's native ISO was 800. And to tell you the truth, that was really low. I had to always rely on my 1.8 lenses. And with the A7C, I'm able to do a 2.8 and that's perfect for me. Another thing about the A7C is the low light images. They come out just as crispy as if you had a flash on your camera. And also the raw images are just perfect. I know a lot of people complain about editing raw images from the Sony, but honestly, it's the same thing as a Canon. There was no big difference. So that's why I switched from my Canon M50 to the Sony A7C. I made it more of a video camera, but also I use it for photography. So I recommend anybody and everybody who's trying to make a change from one small compact camera to another, the Sony a7C is perfect. I know right now they're on back order just because of all the chips and the shortage, but you can always find one refurbished or just a new one just laying around that somebody wanted to sell. So go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this helps you guys uh, choose which camera to buy now so you guys stay blessed don't stress don't worry about the steps have faith in jesus peace